welcome to another dumpster diving video. Well, it is 90 degrees, so if you see me looking like a hot mess express, all sweaty and nasty, I do apologize, but it's real humid here, okay? This humidity in me just do not get along. I am hoping that today is gonna be a pretty good dive because the past few haven't been the best. I mean, we got a good bit of stuff, but nothing like crazy, you know what I'm saying? But hopefully today is a good day because I haven't been out on this day in a little while. So I think it should be good. I don't really think there's anything new going on in my world other than I'm sweaty and gross and hot. Listen, there is something new. I don't know if you guys where you live have to deal with those lantern flies, but I cannot. In my last video, one flew right at my face, almost went down my shirt. I legit screamed the top of my lungs, thought I was gonna throw up. I can't deal with bugs. I am not a bug person, okay? I just am not. I can't deal with them. And they are everywhere. But anyhow, enough talk about bugs because I don't know why I'm talking about them. Nobody cares. But <laughs> let's go get to these dumpsters and do the dang thing. All right, guys. I was right. They did get a new dumpster. This one's going to make it a little easier. So let's see if there's any goodies in there. I hope the other Burlington got the same exact kind of dumpster. These ones are so much easier to take stuff out of. I am so excited. Good old pet dumpster. not scored here in so freaking long guys so long and of course I am antibacterializing y'all know if you've been here for a while I do this after every dumpster but I don't show it but I got new people that watch all the time and they're like uh why don't you wear gloves because <laughs> I gotta be fast and if I gotta rip bags open I can't do it with thick gloves on it just don't work so when you gotta be fast, you can't be messing with no dang gloves. Plus, when I pull up to a dumpster, I literally have like two minutes to get out, grab the stuff, and load it in my car. We are at Walgreens. All right, it's not looking good. It's looking like a lot of boxes. A lot of empty boxes. Let me get my grabber and poke around and I'll see if I can find anything. Every door is always open on my car. Oh my gosh. Okay, doors are shut. I got one bag of goodies. So I will show y'all what I got in the full reveal. It is not much, but it's all right. At least it's something. Let's head on out and check some DGs now and see if we can find any goodies there. All right, guys, we are at a DG. They are still open. But check this out. Look at all those candles, guys. <laughs> a whole big box. And I don't know if there's anything in that bag. And we got a bag of cat litter, so let's get it. Oh, God. I almost fell face first. Oh, my gosh. There's so many 
candles in here. I can't even pick it up. I'm just taking the good ones. I'm not messing with broken ones today. I'm gonna just show you guys the bags. I don't know if there's anything in these. I'm gonna check them, then I'll show you when I'm done. Oh, there was stuff in one of those bags. <laughs> and in another bag, there was three bottles of Dial soap, some puppy pads, some Ziploc bags, and then these are the rest of the candles. And they're in that box. And I spilt soap. I don't know how, but somehow I spilled it in my hair. Ask me how that happens. I don't know. <laughs> But I did. Wait till you see this. Look at all this ibuprofen, Theraflu. All right, they're still open, so I gotta get the lead out. And I can't open this gate the whole way, so I'm gonna have to shut y'all off because I gotta, I gotta get a move on it. Holy cow, guys! Look at this. I got this whole bag. Oh, but wait, there's more. <laughs> And this whole bag is filled all with ibuprofen PM and regular ibuprofen. Do you know this is amazing? Oh my gosh, these are gonna be so great for the period packs. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. There's a couple more in there. I'm gonna try and grab and get the heck out of here. I got a whole nother full bag filled with ibuprofen. So that is three huge bags, which is absolutely amazing. I did not look at the expiration, but um, let's see. Let me stop and then I'll look. Yep, they just expired. <laughs> if you guys didn't know this, meds are actually good for one year past their best by date. I mean, they don't all of a sudden go bad after one year. They just lose a little bit of their effectiveness. So even though these say, eight of 23. These are still going to be good for up to a whole year past that date. Tara is going to be stoked because she always tries to put Tylenol, ibuprofen, something along those lines in the period pack. We are at another Dollar General and right as I pulled up, I see a tote sticking out. So let's see if there's any goodies. Other than the tote, of course, which I'm taking. Oh my God. You've gotta be joking me, guys. This whole dumpster's full. I'm gonna break it down right now because I am so excited. So let me flip y'all around. I'm gonna do the happy dance and then let's get this stuff loaded in the car. This is absolutely insanity. We got mystery boxes, pinatas, so many Bluetooth speakers and earbuds that the kids in the school district, I know our school district, my girls always have to have earbuds or 
headphones for their iPads. We legitimately just found enough earbuds and headphones that no kid should need them in the school district we donate to. Also, there was chocolate ice cream that uh, melted, so it's not poop that's on anything. Don't worry. Because <laughs> that's what I thought at first, too. Holy cow, guys. <laughs> Holy cow. My car is literally filling up. I'm so excited. All right, we are at the other Burlington. Is there any goodies in that bag? Hold on, I got three pairs of socks. Oh, I just walked into a spider web. Jesus. Looks like those are those boxers. Ugh. Yep, we got a pair of Fruit of the Loom boxers. So we are at number, what is this? Two out of three of the last dumpsters. Um, the DG I just went to had nothing. And let's see if this one has anything. She's looking like she empty. So I was turning around and then I spotted those. Holy cow. Those are all pop holders. How did I miss those? There was a subway here, as you can see, and they closed. So uh, yeah, they don't need these. So I'm gonna help myself to a big stack. These help me carry the pop when I take it to the food bank. So I'm gonna help myself to maybe like 10 of these, maybe 20, <laughs> cause I really need them and they're just going in the trash. So why not? I'm at the last DG <laughs> and sadly it's all trash. So that's a no bueno there, but that's all right because my car is flipping loaded. I cannot wait to show you guys the full review. I just unloaded everything from my car from this past dive. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me show you guys what my game room looks like. Oh Lord, it's a hot mess. Don't judge me. I'm gonna clean it and organize it, but let me show you the hot mess that it is right now. As we walk in, we have this massive tote filled all the way to the top with so many items. Plus we have all these donations that I need to take to the food bank. And then we have all of this. <laughs> these are also donations for Tara. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna snap my fingers and then we're gonna have all this organized in a flash. If only that was real life, right? <laughs> in reality, it's probably gonna take me an hour or two, but here we go. Before we get into this craziness, my eyeball was swollen. Let me tell you what happened. So last night I worked at the bar and we were hella busy. And I opened the one beer cooler and there were two bottles that were leaning against the glass and I didn't see. And I was like sitting down like this, trying to get a wine bottle from the bottom of the cooler. And the two beer bottles came down and smacked me right into my glasses and hit my glasses into my nose really hard. So now I have a swollen eye. <laughs> so just pay no attention to it. I know it's gonna be hard not to because I look crazy, but that's what happens when you get smashed in the face with two beer bottles. <laughs> Thankfully it didn't swell at work. It waited until I went to bed and when I woke up this morning, my eyeball was like almost swollen shut. So I've had ice on it for like two hours already today, and I think this is as good as we're gonna get. So don't mind my swollen eyeball. This haul is massive, absolutely massive. I have two bags I have not even gone through yet. The Dollar General bag, which is back there behind me, and Walgreens bag. So with that being said, let's dive on in to everything I got out of all of these dumpsters. First, we are gonna start with the Burlington. We got so much cool stuff. A Forever 21 washcloth, a bib, three men's tank tops. We have a size small and two double XL boxers, a bunch of socks. We also have one size 12 girls underwear, a little PJ shirt for a baby, 
and two little boys or girls Reebok white t-shirts. How cute are those? That's just a fuzzball. There's no stains on them, no rips, nothing. They are perfectly fine. We also have a wine rack. This adorable boo mat, it does have a little flaw in it right here, but I'll just keep that. We have this little harvest blessing sign, some little girl's bows, fake plant. It's missing the vase, but this is a pretty standard size. You could find a vase anywhere to put that in. Three makeup brushes, some fresh scents, super cute pumpkin. It is missing the stem, but you could put anything for a stem on that. Just glue it on. It'll be perfect. This cross that is missing the wording inside there, but I figure you could just paint over that white and that is a really pretty cross. We have some glasses, five out of eight, which isn't bad. This adorable little lantern with the fake candle inside for fall. This really cute like table I don't know what you call these. You guys know, but the mirror's broken, but I will just get a different mirror and put it in there. We have a new plastic trash can. And lastly, this gorgeous lamp. I have not tried it yet, so I will put in a light bulb and try it and test it out, but I'm thinking it's okay. The reason why I think they threw it away was this top part was disconnected, but all you had to do was tighten it. <laughs> so. From the pet dumpster, we have all of these brushless toothpaste dental treats, three boxes, and two bags of dog food. From the Dollar Generals, <laughs> this is crazy. Just wait. We have all of these items from the DG. These chargers, earbuds, wireless speakers. Crazy. Just crazy. So much stuff. We also have all of these candles over here. The three bottles of Dial Men's Soap. Two bags of kitty litter. A brand spanking new mop. A bath towel. Balloon and photo frame decoration kits. A whole case of Green Mountain Half Calf K-Cups. Floral picks and that gorgeous face. Two pinatas. And of course, this huge stack of pop holders. All of this ibuprofen for the period packs, which is crazy. Each one of these has six packages of ibuprofen in them. And then we have ibuprofen PM. So those are also perfect for the period packs. Two Scotch-Brite pads, seven boxes of Theraflu, this little tote. Lastly, this grateful, thankful, blessed, um, what are these things called? <laughs> Runner. <laughs> Words are hard, guys. Words are hard. Now, let's find out what's in the mystery box and the mystery bag. In the mystery box, we have, oh my gosh, do you know what's hilarious? Ava literally just made my husband buy her one of these at the DG. And see this? I could have got her one for free. <laughs> Look at how cute these are. We have the green. The one that Ava got was clear, like this one. And we have a blue. There are two that are broken in there, but four out of six ain't too shabby. I cannot believe that. That is so funny. Oh my gosh, my husband's gonna be like, crap, I wouldn't even have had to buy that. <laughs> That's why I tell them, don't buy them anything from the DG because I'll probably find it in the dumpster. <laughs> All right, now let's find out what's in this massive bag from the DG. Six boxes of aluminum burner guards, freezer bags, Dayquil kits, a bunch of pain relief powder, like a bunch. There's three smaller boxes, bigger boxes, more Dayquil kits, my doll complete. Three boxes of those. Extra strength pain relief. We have more candles. Sweet apple blossom. Eucalyptus sage. Sea spirit. Another day 12 kids. Two more pain relief. What? Two more extra strength. <laughs> I can't. I can't with myself. Two more extra strength pain relief. Good Lord. And lastly, we have a foaming bathroom cleaner and a Play-Doh kitchen set. And that's my friends, is everything. Oh my gosh. This dive was absolutely crazy. And I am so excited. There is so many awesome things to donate. We have so much pain relief for the period packs for Tara. We have clothing, underwear, socks. I mean, you name it, we found it. So this dive was amazeballs. That is gonna do it for me, guys. Thank you so very much, as always, for hanging out with me at the dumpsters. And today, in the reveal, 
with my swollen eye. I, of course, will talk to you all in those comments down below. And until next time, happy diving.